All right, so what's up guys? So right now I'm filming on my Panasonic G9 4K, 30 frames per second, 10 bit 422 uh, in normal color profile. So I just wanted to do a test because my old 2017 MacBook Pro with really, really high specs. I think I bought that MacBook Pro for about almost $4,000. So it was really specced out with the ATI Radeon uh, graphics chip and stuff. But always when I'm shooting 4K, uh, really high frame rates or bit rates, it will lag after playing back the video for more uh, than after one second basically. So one second, the, the rest of the video will lag totally and it's unable to watch. You need to press this uh, play button and then you need to stop it and then play it again and then stop it in order to see the video itself so all right guys check it out I bought something new today and by the way I'm filming on the GoPro Hero 9 yep I haven't used this in a while and uh, since GoPro Hero 10 is launching tomorrow Singapore time basically tomorrow is uh, GoPro Hero 10 is launching I decided to take out my GoPro Hero 9 because I hardly use it and I haven't used it in a really long time so yeah checking out my MacBook kind of uh, spoiled on me my MacBook Pro due to the uh, Big Sur firmware update. So look what I got. It's the iMac, the new iMac, 24 inch. So we're gonna open it up. Uh, this is my first time ever buying an iMac, so pretty stoked. So this is the silver version, so we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna tear this open first. Tristan, pull it. Pull it, pull it, pull it, come on. Yeah, you did it. All right, so let's see if there's anything else to pull. It doesn't seem like any, so I think might be, that should be it. Just a one strip holding the whole box together. And mine has uh, two Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, I believe. Thunderbolt ports and two USB-C ports. So how do we open this up? Oh, there you go. Wow, check it out, guys. First time unboxing. So this one comes off because it's an arrow. Pull it open. And there you have it. MacBook. Does it open anymore? Nope, it doesn't. Yeah, all right. Ooh. Look at that beautiful silver. That's the only color you had for 512. So this opens up. Yeah, check it out. Got the Magic Mouse. Magic Mouse 2, version 2, I believe. Then uh, power cable. And this is just some uh, paperwork. And this is the power adapter. Oh, cool. And they even have an RJ45. RJ45 on the power adapter. So that's really interesting. Really huge. So those three items. And of course the keyboard and Another cable, USB-C, the lightning cable. Yeah, right, so let's set it up right now. All right, guys, so check it out. This is the setup. Got everything neatly arranged. Only one cable, so everything looks really, really cool. And you can't see any of the cables from afar because I've hit everything really, really nicely. Yeah. 
Yeah, so cool guys, so... Yep, this will be my new workstation from now on until, you know, this spoils, which should be a couple of years. But also repairing my MacBook Pro, so yeah, guys. So right now, 4K30, 10-bit 422, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna film my kids in 4K 60 frames per second, 8-bit, which also has the same issue. So we're just gonna find out if the iMac M1 chip, which is half the price of my MacBook Pro 2017, whether this M1 chip is any good and can play back this 5K GoPro video and this 4K uh, high frame rate or high bit rate videos without any lag. So let's go 4K 60 frames right now. Dawson is running up the slope so slowly and then he's gonna take on the obstacle course. Come on Dawson, run up, run, 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 then come down the slope and he goes through the tunnel. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, now he has to go up again and go to the other tunnel. Go to the other tunnel, quick, hurry up. Crawl through the other tunnel, then you're done. Okay, so just look at the first clip. Uh, this is on the GoPro Hero 9, and this is a 5K video, uh, 24 frames per second. You can see the playback. Playback is really, really good. It's really smooth. Normally, if you shoot uh, 4K at a high bit rate, or a frame rate, or even 5K on my MacBook Pro 2017, even with 16 gigabytes RAM, and it's gonna be pretty laggy but you can see the playback and this is not using optimized media so this is just the normal imported video direct from the GoPro so that's really really smooth no lag I can play back and watch the video and edit the video pretty decently so really impressive and this M1 chip is also only using 8 gigabytes of RAM so now we come to the next video whereby this is uh, on the Panasonic G9 4K 30 frames per second but using 10-bit 422. Of course if it's 4K 30 at 8-bit no issues previously on the MacBook Pro but normally 10-bit 422 you can see it's, it's looking really good nice smooth playback no lag whatsoever audio and video is in sync so that's really really cool and then now we play the uh, 4k 60 8-bit 420 uh, for 4k 60 using a really high frame rate also the same issues on my macbook pro being laggy and the audio and the video is not in sync but again looking at the video non-optimized media on this um, 21 24 inch iMac looks really really good so a lot easier for me to edit and now we're taking a look at how fast rendering speed is 1.37 gigabytes on this uh, video that I'm going to render and let's see how long it takes I got my stopwatch ready to go so we're gonna start and yeah i'm gonna use my handphone to record because i don't want the uh, quick time to be recording the screen while it's rendering it might you know affect the video rendering speed so we're coming up to the end i fast forward this eight coming up to about nine minutes and not really impressive for 1.37 gigabytes but yeah it took about nine minutes and 30 seconds so yeah that's pretty decent not the best all right guys so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video on the new imac 24 inch really as compared to the older macbook pros like mine like i said was is even uh specked out to the maximum it's not really as fast as the new uh, m1 chip so the new m1 chips really really good eight gigabytes of ram that's all it took and it's plays back the videos and renders all the uh, high resolution videos on my Final Cut Pro a lot faster. So thanks guys and uh, hit the subscribe button, the like button and the notification button guys and I'll see you in the next one.